Jewellery is, is yet another aspect of Ferdinand's Renaissance collection, and some of it was pretty spectacular sculptural type jewels. But also we have a rather unusual piece in the collection that has stayed at Wadston. This is a bodice ornament, and it was designed to be worn at the top and at the front of a bodice um, in the 18th century. And at that date, robes had a kind of triangular opening at the front, which could be filled with a panel called a stomacher, which was sometimes very heavily jewelled or embroidered, or it could be filled with a series of jewels. This is quite a spectacular example because it is so enormous and it's quite heavy to wear and it would have hooked on at the back uh, with this hook here and there are holes and in fact two slits here where it could also have been stitched to the front of the dress so that it wouldn't come off. And it's made of a combination of flat and rose cut diamonds. It really is encrusted with diamonds. But it may be that because they're small diamonds, this is the reason why it was never broken up to create other pieces of jewellery. Very often with spectacular jewellery, it could be turned into brooches or earrings at a later date. And that hasn't happened with this piece. It may also have not joined the Wadston bequest items because it dates from the 18th century. And therefore it's rather an odd object out in the collection, which otherwise mainly dated from the 16th and 17th centuries. Thank you.